and excited to share this guest with you because we know education has been fundamentally changed in this country because of the pandemic. Online learning once supplemented what kids did in the classroom. Well, now classes are entirely or partially online and parents are often looking for digital ways to keep their kids learning. OutSchool, a San Francisco-based K-12 education marketplace, has raised $45 million in Series B funding. Joining us now is the company CEO and co-founder, Amir Nathu. Amir, welcome to the show. We're so excited to talk to you, especially about such a timely subject. Can you explain for our viewers what exactly OutSchool offers? Absolutely, and it's a pleasure to be here talking to you. So OutSchool is a marketplace of live online classes for kids. And so these are classes that meet in small groups over video chats uh, with kids and a teacher joining from all over the country and in fact the world. And you know what's unique about OutSchool um, in addition to the live online format is just the range of classes in this marketplace. Um, there are thousands and thousands of classes on both core subjects and interest-based topics. And teachers are creative to teach the classes that they've always wanted to teach and so really, really engage the kids. So this isn't like other forms of remote learning where it might be a challenge to keep the kids interested. The teachers really make it fun. And they teach subjects like uh, learn critical thinking skills through Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Pokemon biology, or Harry Potter chemistry. And um, you know, during the uh, current pandemic, uh, we've just been so grateful to be able to help so many families because with school being uh, disrupted in many ways and limited options over the summer, uh, many, many parents turned to us for ways that they could keep their kids um, engaged with, with learning in a fun and productive way. So we're very I'm grateful to be able to help so many in this time. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous that I didn't have Harry Potter chemistry growing up as a kid. I have to ask, though, how can OutSchool help parents and teachers keep kids engaged and excited about learning? You mentioned Pokemon and Harry Potter. Is it just incorporating so much of their cultural aspects into their education? Absolutely. So it's a matter of enriching education with topics that kids are interested in, so connecting it to their interests. And then you can actually use that to connect those interests back to learning in core subjects. So for example, we have a math art class where kids who might be less excited about uh, some other kinds of maths classes can actually engage in the subject through art. And then as they get more excited um, about math, they can uh, take more and more core subjects throughout school. So by giving that flexibility and the choice, um, you can find personalized learning paths that meet your kids' uh, exact needs and interests. So how do programs like this help bridge any learning loss that kids may have experienced during the summer or when lockdown initially went into place, at least here in the United States? So many parents feel that it's very, very important to supplement what their school is doing in these times in order to help their kids uh, keep up with both uh, the core curriculum and also to get the enrichment they would otherwise get in school. So, you know, with the change to remote learning, it's been natural that uh, schools have had to adjust. And in many places, it's uh, taken a while to get back to a more normal school schedule, and they're still missing parts. And parents are concerned about that. And so um, you're able to come to out school and search by subject, by age level, and browse through an enormous selection of teachers and classes so that if you have concerns that your kid is missing out in some way, you can find a, a live online class to, to plug the gap. And that's how many parents are using OutSchool today. I really want to talk about OutSchool.org here, Amir, because it provides free classes for underprivileged families. What's the impact that has had in your clientele and why do this in the first place? So we launched the OutSchool.org free classes program as COVID hit because we realized that with mass school closures, there was going to be you know, great inequity in terms of access. And we were really, really concerned about that because our mission is to inspire all kids to love learning. And um, we didn't just want to serve parents who were able to pay out of pocket for services like ours. And so we launched the financial assistance program with initial million dollar commitments and families can go to outschool.org, sign up for the program and get free outschool classes through that program. And we recently announced that we were continuing and expanding that program and made an additional uh, $2 million commitments, as well as uh, securing other uh, external donors uh, in order to support that program and build it for the long term. So this is all part of our focus on access and comes from the realization 
that in the current crisis, um, you know, there is an equity and, you know, we don't want kids to be left behind. You know, Amir, we have so, so many educators that come on, and I always ask them this, especially after the pandemic and this current situation that so many children and parents are going through. What do you see as the future of education? More hybrid structure of online and in-person learning? Is it just going to become our new normal even after the pandemic passes, in your opinion? Yes, I do think the future of education is hybrid with uh, kids spending a combination of time in person uh, and online. I think that if there's one silver lining that comes out of the current crisis, it's that parents and schools are becoming much more familiar with uh, different technologies and different alternatives, which can be very useful for their kids' education. Now, of course, when things are safe, everyone wants kids to have in-person learning and the opportunity to build social connections with classmates in person. So that's not going away. It's just that online resources like OutSchool are going to be increasingly used to supplement kids' education. So absolutely, I think the future of kids' education is hybrid, and you're going to continue to see changes in that direction uh, even after the, the present crisis is over. Well, like I said, this is such an important and timely conversation. Amir Nathu, CEO and co-founder of OutSchool, and congratulations again on your funding, Amir.